true. There's violence across the whole country. Do you disavow yeah, the violence from Antifa? That's happening in Portland right now? That's, 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 that's a myth that's being spread only in Washington, D.C. About Antifa in Portland? Yes. I, I, I want to be clear in how I characterize this. This is a, mostly a protest. Uh, it, is not, uh, it is not, generally speaking, unruly. It's been a mostly peaceful protest. But then they chose to move in. Uh, Many of these protests have been largely peaceful. Mostly peaceful. Mostly, mostly peaceful. peaceful. Mostly peaceful. Looking at those live pictures next to you, and they seem very peaceful. There are always folks on the fringes of protests that do the things that uh, we don't we don't like. A few people who break a few windows and burn a few cars. They just threw something on fire, Chris. A firecracker. Our country was started because this is how the Boston Tea Party rioting. So don't do not get it twisted and think that oh this is some something that has not never happened before and then this is so terrible and where are we and these savages and all of that. This is how this country was started. There were protests in several other cities yesterday as well, most of them peaceful. Christine, Laura, what you're seeing behind me is one of multiple locations that have been burning in Kenosha, Wisconsin, over the course of the night, a second night. It feels like you're at a street festival, quite frankly. You have barbecues going on. There's hot dog stands. There's gardening taking place. The facts on the ground ought to indicate that this is an entirely peaceful situation. You've seen essentially almost like a street festival type atmosphere. A street festival type atmosphere. atmosphere. No, with a very It is not a street festival. With a very intentional purpose. It is not a street festival. It is not a street festival. Do not say that. Please Shame on not. you for saying that. Learn right now. It is not a street festival. The perversity yeah. of this year is that um, I would say the Democrats had a better convention, more creative convention. Biden gave a much better speech. Obama's gave good speeches. But I would say if you measure the mood, both in the Democratic and Republican camps, Democrats are a little more anxious and Republicans are a little more confident. <laughs> Democrats, I think, have come to understand they somehow got on the wrong side of, of order. Uh, and they got it somehow attached, even though Biden is not actually attached to it, to the idea of defunding the police. I mean, I, I think that Portland remains a, a festering boil uh, for, for Democrats. Uh, that uh, what went on in Seattle and has been reported by the, the Times and, and other news organizations is, is really just unacceptable. I think this is a blind spot for Democrats. I think Democrats are ignoring this problem or hoping that it will go away and it's not going to go away. Chris, as you know and I know, it's showing up in the polling. Mm -hmm. It's showing up in focus groups. It is the only thing, it is the only thing right now that is sticking. We've heard of Democratic strategists, people close to Biden, concerned about uh, about the, the, the efficacy of a law enforcement message for the president as people see uh, violence in the streets of Kenosha and Portland, et cetera. And, and again, we, we, we don't want to uh, overplay or underplay the violence, how extensive it is. But the other thing that we're seeing is that polling shows that the chaos is is possibly hurting the Black Lives Matter movement. So Kellyanne Conway came out yesterday, yesterday and said the chaos and the violence that helps us essentially. That he's, she said that that makes the distinction clearer between President Trump and Joe Biden. Joe Biden said that that was really President Trump rooting for more violence, not less violence. I'm just wondering when when you talk to Trump voters. Why do they think that the solution to what Trump is doing is more Trump? <laughs> well, I, I don't think that they see him as a cause of the unrest because he is telling them and Fox News is backing him up on this with the footage and the narrative that they are spinning is that, you know, the reason this is happening is because Democrats led cities um, are not, you know, taking control of out of control black people.